sorry, the I number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Learn to side lengths and right triangles. This is a review. You know how to do this so we can get through less than quick. So x squared equals 100. So x could equal 10 or negative 10. x squared plus 9 equals 25. Subtract 9 from both sides. You get x squared equals 16. So x could equal 4 or negative 4. Simplify. So the square root of 20 simplifies to 4 times 5. The square root of 4 is 2. So the answer should be 2 radical 5. And the next problem, find x. So you can see here that this is 10, this is 10, so that this segment here, I think we learned already in an isosceles triangle, the altitude is also the perpendicular bisector, it's also the median, it's also an angle bisector. So that means x and x are going to be equal. So x is equal to 6. So one of the most famous theorems in mathematics is the Pythagorean theorem, and it is named for the ancient Greek mathematician Pythagoras around 500 years BC. This theorem can be used to find information about the lengths of a right triangle. So in a right triangle, the square of the length of the hypotenuse, so that would be c squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the length. So the square of a and the square of b, add them together, and that gives you the Pythagorean theorem. So for example one, you know how to do this. I'm not going to go through it. So let's try guided practice. That means x squared plus 3 squared is going to equal 5 squared. x squared plus 9 equals 25. Subtract 9 from both sides. x squared equals 16. So in this case, x has to equal 4. It has to be a positive number because the length has to be positive. And another one here. Now we're going to find the hypotenuse. 4 squared is 16 plus 36 equals x. 36 plus 16 is 52 equals x. So x equals the square root, clean this up a little bit, so square root of 52. 52 is divisible by 2. You get 2 times 26. And 26 is divisible by 2, 2 times 2 times 13. So if you take those out, that would be 4. The square root of 4 is 2 radical 13. A 16-foot ladder rests against the side of a house. The base of the ladder is 4 feet away. Approximately how high off the ground is it to the top of the ladder? So 4 squared is 16 plus x squared equals 16 times 16 is 256. Subtract 16 from both sides. So x squared equals 240. 
So x is equal to the square root 240, 4 times 60. I'll break this down and go over here. I'll fracture this more. Equals that's 4 times 20 times 3. You can just keep breaking this down, which is 4 times 4 times 5. 20 is 4 and 5 times 3. So now you can factor out the 4. Move up here. I'm kind of making a mess. 4 radical 15. If you wanted to have an approximate number, the square root of 15 is roughly that, times 4. So your approximate number would be about 15.5. Okay? And the answer is, as we said, about 15.5. Another practice, the top of a ladder rests against a wall 23 feet from the ground, 23 feet above the ground. The base of the ladder is 6 feet away. What is the length of the ladder? So 6 squared is 36. 23 times 23 is 529. And that's going to equal 565. So 565 square root, so that's about 23.8 feet is ladder. Oh, sorry, I should have pulled that away. There you go. And another guided practice. The Pythagorean theorem is only true for what type of triangle? It is only true for a right triangle. For this one, so it's an isosceles triangle. If this is 30 feet, this is 15, this is 15. 15 squared plus the height squared equals 18 squared. 15 squared is 225 plus h squared equals 18 times 18 is 324. 324 minus 225. So h squared equals 99. So h is going to be really close to 10. So h is actually 9.95 is what I'm going to round it to. So 30 times 9.95 is 298.5 divided by 2 is 149.25. They rounded it to the a little bit differently. But that's where you see we get the correct answer. Another guided practice problem. So this would be 10, 10. So 100 squared plus, oh, that's not 100 squared, it's 10 squared, so 100 plus h squared equals 26 times 26 is 676 minus 100 is 576. The square root of that is 24. So h equals 24. 20 times 24 divided by 2 is 240. So the area is 240 meters squared. A Pythagorean triple is a set of three positive integers, a, b, and c, that satisfy the equation c squared equals a squared plus b squared, which, yes, would be the same as a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So some common Pythagorean triples are 3, 4, and 5, or 5, 12, and 13. 8, 15, 17, 7, 24, 25 are all numbers that are three positive integers that work for the Pythagorean theorem. If you take a Pythagorean triple and multiply each of them by the same factor, you have another Pythagorean triple. 
So for instance, 3, 4, 5, all of those times 2 are 6, 8, 10. That's another common Pythagorean triple. Pythagorean triples can be useful, um, but you do have to memorize them. So you might notice here that 10 and 24 are both divisible by 2. 5 and 12 and then 13 is a common Pythagorean triple. So then without doing the Pythagorean theorem, you would know that this must be 13 times 2, so that side length must be 26. Yes, you could still do 10 squared plus 24 squared equals x squared. So these do come in handy if you realize, so for instance, 9 and 12 are both divisible by 3. 3, 4, 5 is a Pythagorean triple. So this is 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15, and that is the answer. On the other one here, you might realize uh, that 14 divided by 2 would be 7, and 28 divided by 2 would be 24. So the question is, is there a Pythagorean triple that involves 7 and 24? And you can go back. You have a chart that you haven't memorized. There you go. 7, 24, 25 is a common Pythagorean triple. So this would be 25. So 14, that's times 2, times 2, x would be 50. So as I said, the Pythagorean triples are very useful, but you must memorize them in order to be able to do them. So find the length of the hypotenuse of the right triangle. I notice that 15 and 36 are both divisible by 3, but I don't remember my Pythagorean triples. So I'm going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So that's 15 squared plus 36 squared equals x squared. 15 squared is 225. 36 squared is 1,296. 1,296 plus 225 is 1,521, and the square root of that is 39. Save myself some time here. If I would have remembered, these are all divisible by 3, that 5, 12, 13 is a Pythagorean triple, then I could have realized that times everything by 3 and the answer would be 39. In this case, I used the Pythagorean theorem and was still able to solve the problem. Number two, find the area of the isosceles triangle. So for this one, each side here is going to be 24. 24 squared plus h squared is going to equal 51 squared. 24 squared is 576 plus h squared equals 51 squared 2601 minus 576, ooh my cookies are ready, equals 2,025, and the square root of that is 45. The height is 45. I want to find the area of the entire isosceles triangle. So 48 times 45 is 2,160 divided in half is 1,080. Find the unknown side length x. Write your answer in simplest radical form. So 
36, 6 squared, plus b squared for this small triangle here equals 100. 100 minus 36 is 64. So b is 8. Now on the other side, the other triangle here, 8 squared, which is 64, plus 144 equals x squared. Should be able to do this right now, so that's 208. I need the square root of 208. I'm going to assume that that's divisible by 4, which it is. It's 52. Is 52 divisible by 4? It is. So let me just double check my math here. 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 13 is 208. So I can pull out a 4. The answer is 4 radical 13. That is correct. And now you can look through the questions from the book in order to do the homework.